So Walmart is stopping selling this. Or are they? How you doing ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about the what's going on inside of Walmart right now. Why they took a billion dollar hit. Why they may be stopping selling or maybe they're just going to stop having certain products in certain stores, major products in certain stores. One thing that we really have to sit back and realize is is that Walmart has control over just about every type of situation that it takes place. It has the power, has the money, it has all the vendors, it has all the ships, containers, and everything else. The problem is Walmart can't control the inflation. They can't control the recession that we are going through right now. You and me are both feeling it. You're going to be feeling it even more next year. But right now, what we are talking about is what is taking place and why we need to be concerned if Walmart starts having problems. Because I know there's a lot of people out there, you don't like Walmart, you don't shop at Walmart, which is fine. But there are millions of people that shop there every single day. Walmart is also one of the major stores for people to go to for all their goods in a one-stop shop. People can walk in there, you can buy a TV, you can buy a phone, you can buy a computer, you can buy clothes, socks, underwear, you can buy pots and pans, you can buy stuff for your pets, you can buy sporting goods stuff, you can get a bicycle for your kid, and you can buy baby products, you can get baby clothes, but the one thing that you're having a hard time finding is a lot of food. The most important thing that I just spoke of. Now here's the problem. A lot of people have been emailing me and telling me what they're seeing in a lot of these stores. I really wish a lot of people would send more pictures because I'd like to be able to post those to go along. But what you're saying is they're seeing a huge shortage of chicken. And from doing a little investigating Walmart actually says that they have a chicken shortage going on throughout all their stores throughout the country here in the United States. We all know that the bird flu really took a real hurting on the chicken. Didn't matter if it was at Walmart, Target, Chick-fil-A, Burger King, McDonald's. They all at one point in time didn't have certain chicken products because they didn't have chicken. And Walmart is trying its best to try to deal with the situation, but it, they're fighting a losing battle because everybody else wants a piece of that chicken too. So they're doing whatever they can to try to buy it out from underneath Walmart. What we really have to realize is, is if Walmart starts having problems, and which they are, they're having problems getting their products. They're having problems um, moving their products. They're having problems with their financial area. They took a billion dollar hit in costs this year on their employees. And now they're struggling to try to figure out how to make up a billion bucks. Maybe you all saw it in the news where they cut back on all their, you know, their numbers and stuff for this year. And yes, their stock went down, but then it slowly came back up because they're still making profit. And see, the one thing they can't control is the Fed. And they can't control what the Fed is doing with the interest rates. Walmart sees the writing on the wall. They know they have to make changes. They know that they have to raise prices. But on what prices and on what things are they going to change? You see, if you haven't noticed when you go in your store, it's on selective products. More on the, well, more commonly bought products have gone up. Some of the junk is still junk and it's still the same price. It's the way that Walmart does business, but it's the way that any store does business. They have a product that is selling like hotcakes, 
Well, they kind of figure we can probably raise that price and people are still going to pay it because they want that product. And that's what's taking place, especially with chicken. Used to be chicken breast at Walmart was $1.99 a pound. It was that for years. Now it's pushing three bucks a pound. So you say, oh, you know, another dollar, you know, what's the big deal? Well, for families, it could be a huge deal. You know, you used to be able to get a family pack of the chicken breast for nine, ten bucks. Now they start at 15, 16 bucks a pound. Not a pound, a pack. So we really have to be aware of here, folks, is Walmart isn't the only one that's going through this. And a lot of people out there are reporting this. And Walmart is also stating that, you know, in some stores, it may look like they're not selling chicken anymore. It's not because they don't want to. It's because they can't get it. And one thing that Walmart does, they're going to take care of their mega stores, the ones that are producing the most, the ones that are making them the money. Those will be the ones that get the products first. And then whatever's left over will trickle down to all the other stores because they're going to make sure that the breadwinner is getting all the products that it needs to stay the breadwinner. They're not just going to give it to, well, you know, some little store out in podunk country somewhere. You people are just going to suffer without having any of the products. And one has to ask themselves, how long can Walmart afford to keep doing this before people really start revolting back on Walmart in those areas? It's a real tough game out there right now. All the retailers are all fighting for a piece of the pie. And we know that Walmart is stopping selling a lot of different products. At least it seems that way. And I think it's because they just can't get those products anymore. Or they can't buy them in the large quantities that they used to be able to get them in. Because everybody else wants a piece of Walmart's pie. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. I hope everybody stays safe. You keep prepping. And Lord only knows, we've got to do whatever we can do to stay ahead of the game. Till next time, I'll catch all of you on the flip side.